Rankings, let's see who wins this thing. I think it's gonna be me. Okay, fourth place, Tusk. Alright, so now there needs to be explanations. Uh -oh. Just because that was an easy one. Uh, <laughs> for my top three, uh, it was very difficult, to say the least. These all three movies, I could put any single one at number three, any single one at number one. With saying that, there, I don't even know why. There's no specific reasons or qualities. It's just based on feeling. How I felt, I tried to think of how I felt after the movie ended immediately. So, I guess I already said the number four. Yeah, what was number four again? And crap movie. And oh. so number three, Lego movie. No. Number two, 22 Jump Street. Uh, number one, Divergent. Wow. Okay. Like I said, I'm willing. I'm, I'm ready. It's time. Okay. And I just finally decided to give up your hubris. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Derek. What do you think? <clears throat> Hashtag walrus no. Uh oh. Four. Uh oh. <laughs> Terrible movie. Uh oh. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> um. Number three, again, just to reiterate what Josh said, because it's a movie, like all three of the movies, I, I loved all of them, just some of them are more my genre than, than others. That being said, 22 Jump Street, not to, you know, it seems like I'm reciprocating it, but I kind of decided my order, and like you said, I try and think about how I felt immediately after the movie. Um, it's a funny movie, at the end, you're like... Yup, that was exactly what I expected it to be, and I think that might actually be why I have it at three, because despite it knowing what it was, and despite it being hilarious, I was not surprised about anything in that movie, which for a comedy movie is probably a good thing, but it's not what I value when I watch a movie, so... Comment. You weren't surprised about anything? Not even <laughs> a certain scene? <laughs> The movie as a whole, I was not surprised, <laughs> but I have to say, there are parts that... Oh, good on Beautiful them. Beautiful twist. <laughs> <laughs> um, for number, my number two, I put Divergent, just because even though it's better than Hunger Games, and it's better than, and I, and I haven't seen Mage Runner, but it's better than Catching Fire, I agree with you, and way better than Mockingjay, it pleasantly surprised me. It didn't... In, like evoke those feelings of nostalgia that the Lego movie gave me, um, made me feel happy, made me feel elated, I guess. Um, that was why I had to put the Lego movie number one. Because um, Divergent, what it really had going for it was a surprise factor and surprising in how much I really enjoyed it um, and how much I opened up and how much it really engaged me. So that's why I gave it the two, but I want to say that it's it was close between Lego Movie and Divergent for me. So and that's not because I'm a homer, because I hadn't even seen Lego Movie before. So I'm just as surprised about it taking number one as I don't know if anyone else is surprised, but that's yeah. Okay. All right. Well, for me, I'm just gonna tell you where it falls because mine's slightly different than yours in terms of like how close they were. Number four is pretty far down. Not really close at all. Uh, still probably higher than how they rank. Um, number three and two were really, really close. It was a really hard decision. I didn't say what movie it was. I will. I will. Just give me a second. And, and number one, number one, it was far and above. It wasn't even close for number one. But two and three were very close. That said, number four, hashtag walrus, yes. But I'm ranking Tusk at four. Um, my own movie. Um, and with this red downward. Um, <laughs> so... <laughs> so, hashtag walrus yes, but I still rank four. Number three, it was tough, but I ranked 22 Jump Street. Bitch. Um, it was close. It was very close. I really liked it, but I liked the first one more, so that has a little bit to do with it. Um, number two, because it has me excited for the sequel, is Divergent. 
Um, and that was probably the main thing, is because the first one was better, in my opinion, and this one gets to be pumped for a sequel. I don't know. That, that's probably the only reason, really. Number one, not even close to the Lego movie. This <laughs> a near perfect movie. Near perfect. Um, I cannot give it enough praise. I loved it. Um, so, yeah, not even close. I'm not even going to say because we all know what number four is. I already wrote it down. Yeah, it's, in, yeah, you, it's, yeah, it's written down. Yeah, it's like it is. Yeah. I wrote, I wrote oh. it down. <laughs> no, Tusking number four. Divergence number one. And. Oh, oh. Two and three is really close. It said Lego Movie is three, and 22 Drop Street is two. <laughs> Because I just, I enjoyed 22 Jump Street just a little bit more because of the adult humor in it. Um, not that it, nothing wrong with playing a movie like that. It was a really good movie. Okay. Well, points are done. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Alright, well. I won in that. In, uh, with the Golden Raspberry Award, we have Shit Movie with 16 points. The perfect score. Did I got. Did I get perfect score? Perfect, yeah, perfect score. Perfect, perfect I got the perfect. highest number you could get. Coming in at third is uh, Twenty One Jump Street. Wait, we didn't watch Twenty One Jump Street. Yeah, we did. Just a different version. <laughs> oh, that's right. In second place, we have the Lego Movie, and in first place, we have The oh! Secret Life of Fault in Our Stars. What? <laughs> <laughs> With six points. <sighs> It's my my ass. Oh, like, it's, still, it's got like all my shape in it. Oh yeah, you're the one to talk. Oh yeah, everything ever moved. <laughs> <laughs> the best loser, guys. <laughs> oh uh, wow. So okay, wow. Well, oh, and what were the points again? Uh, sixteen, ten, eight, six. Double digits for the first time for me. Oh, actually, this was my strategy. I wanted to get down to third place so that I'm like my movie next time will be in like. You guys' his head sooner. Oh, so it's all straight. It'll be really fresh. fresh. I see what yes. you All right, it makes sense. All right, King Jordan. <laughs> do you have a rule that you want to make? Yeah, do. <laughs> Next week, what, what, what is uh, what is our rule going to be? The saga begins. No! <laughs> <laughs> so. The first. The first movie. The first of movie. Of a saga. Of a saga. So at least three movies? At least three. At least three movies. <laughs> <laughs> so someone's picking Star Wars. And someone's picking Lord of the Rings. Guess who hasn't seen either one? And always uses it as his never have I ever uh, thing. It's bullshit. And it ends now. I've got 20 years, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well that on the way. Yep. Guys, what's my punishment? Yeah, there's not much that we can do really tusk related. Well, I mean... We can cut his legs off, but that's messy. Wait. Turn him into a walrus? Wait, what? No. No. I think. No. No! My Mr. Tusk! Oh my god! Mr. Tusk!